in Canada, the rate of growth, if you take the real annual per capita rate of growth of prescription drug costs, it is twice as much as what you find in every European countries who do have a system of universal pharmacare. In terms of all OECD countries, after the United States, Canada is second in terms of the importance of private insurance. Now, private insurance is bluntly inefficient for many reasons. Huge markups for administrations, for example, 13.2% for private drug plans as compared to 2% to public plans. The system right now is not sustainable. So reform is not an option. The question is, what type of reform do we want to implement? What we're seeing is that more and more the reform that are being implemented has nothing to do with evidence-based policy. It is that we are simply importing US-style policy. So what we do is that we increase co-payments, uh, we increase deductibles, we reduce the proportion of uh, the population being covered, we increase means testing, for example, uh, uh, we reduce the amount of drugs we accept to cover. We import US-style policy, we get US-style results. Massive waste, large number of people not being treated for their medical conditions, and incapacity to, uh, to contain the cost. Okay, everybody working in silos might be able to balance their budget by shoveling costs uh, this way. But in the end, what we see, the system is still not sustainable. Simply, we need to look at what is being done in countries with universal pharmacare. How do they manage to contain costs so well as compared to us? The savings could be huge. It's not a question of it would cost too much. It is only a question of political will.